Welcome to Law Hero. Ooh. So today in preparation for all of the mid crown madness that's going on between the months of September and October, and actually some firms have started it as early as August, I'm gonna go through how to approach your mid crown application um, and make sure you stay tuned till the end because I have some questions you can ask at the end of an interview that will make it all okay if you made a hames of it. So the first consideration is, of course, what area of law are you actually interested in? Because that will dictate where you do your traineeship. So for me, for example, I was very interested in corporate, commercial um, areas of law. So that's why I chose to go to a big law firm. However, you might want to be a general practitioner. You might want to be doing um, wills. You might want to do probate. Um, you may want to do some, um, you know, conveyancing. Then a general practitioner might be better for you. Um, and then also you may want to be a litigator and there are some firms that specialize in litigation. And then of course, criminal litigation is a whole different kettle of fish. And there again, you'll have to apply to such and a then firm. you need to ask yourself some hard questions because you need to decide you don't need to decide, you need to have a rough idea um, where your career will go in the future. So you, you know, a lot of people won't know obviously when they're training if they want to be a partner or not, but you have to understand what the life of a partner in a big law firm entails, whereas the life of a partner in, um, you know, a, a small uh, solicitor's practice is much different. You know, there's different client demand, different base, and like your clients as well will dictate the, the hours you do, the volume of work, that kind of thing. So you have to look at it from every angle. So the next quick area of this video is going to give you five steps for your CV when you're applying to the milk rounds. Sorry if I keep looking up, it's because there's a window behind me and there's like children and people and I'm like, oh, I'm going home from school. I'm like a dog getting very distracted, but now I've got to focus. Okay, so the first one is to avoid spelling and grammar errors. Best way to do this is after you've drafted everything, you can use my Milk Round Mastery and I will assist you with this or give it to somebody you trust. Um, I've helped a lot of people with their CVs and with their cover letters and the feedback has all, always been really great and they always get an interview. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna guarantee you get an interview, but if your CV and cover letter has been run by me, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, the second one is to avoid convoluted sentences now. I am kind of guilty of using convoluted sentences. I'm trying my best though to keep things short because we all have short attention span these days. We all want everything quick, quick, snappy, snappy. And uh, we don't want to be waiting around to hear what you have to say. We certainly don't want to be reading long sentences. Um, so yeah, apply the same logic to your um, CV and cover letter. Yeah, so I've written down in that vein, do not use the passive. So, um, was responsible for drafting. Ugh. You always use the active end CVs. That's one of the tips I give when you come to me for Milk Ground Mastery. And the other thing as well is, um, don't use legalese. Like, therefore, I manipulated many documents for an assessment of locus standi. Um, to see if there was a prima facie case um, in the higher courts of the judiciary. I don't even know what I said there. I was just making stuff up. Probably wasn't even good. My next step is to avoid meaningless statements. So, for example, I really like this law firm because of its diversity and inclusion um, angle. Well done but that means nothing to me if I want to make you work for me. So, do you get me? So like, a better way to frame that is, I have been monitoring the diversity and inclusion um, endeavors of your law firm. And I would say that I would love to get involved with this type of a project because then I can understand, okay, it means something to you and also you're proactive and also you're a team player, you're a volunteer, all that stuff. It has meaning. 
passion. The second thing is for lawyers, attention to detail is life. <laughs> L-Y-F. No, don't do that. Um, it seriously is. So you need to be able to pick things out quickly, read contracts quickly, but maintain consistency in your drafting, um, that you're able to know your capital letters are right when you're defining things, that your punctuation is right, um, that there's a high level of consistency in your attention to detail. Now that does come with time and obviously the more you read, the quicker you get and the more polished you get. But from your level, from a junior level, from somebody coming in on a traineeship, they want to see at least that your CV and cover letter is right. Uh, teamwork <coughs> is a big one. Um, now, I have been somebody who's traditionally, I have played on teams, but I, I've excelled more in the individual sports. So it's sometimes difficult to portray it through sport, but you can portray it, for example, through a part-time job you did if you were a volunteer. You know, there's lots of different ways to demonstrate how teamwork is one of your skills. So don't be worried. As long as you can show that you're not, you know, like a lone wolf, that you're not like, you know, a narcissist that keeps everything to themselves very selfish, it's gonna be fine. Like, I mean, you know, just explain if sometime you encourage somebody or, you know, you pull together to make a deadline happen. That That's some questions to get you noticed by those pesky partners. So the first one is, what major challenges faces your firm? I'm in very interested. It just sounds really good. And like, be kind of ready for them to look a bit puzzled. Be like, huh? What are you asking us? You want to know the challenges? And just and then if they look puzzled, just be like, you know, in terms of Brexit, for example, and they will start spouting on. Let me tell you that. Um make sure right if they have if they have mentioned if they have mentioned at the very start of the interview on blah 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 partner in financial services lock that in be like okay financial services and then at the very end be like um what's it like to be a partner in financial services boom my ego just goes through the roof you remembered or she remembered i'm in financial services they love it people love talking about themselves um what type of culture do you have in this firm interesting question i hope your partners know what their what their culture is and what other ones do i have oh yeah um what type of seats will i be doing uh, on my rotations so seat is like you know a certain area of law um although if this has been widely flagged on the website, don't ask it. And um, ask them, where did they train? Yeah. Or where did they go to university? Um, because you'll be surprised. Some of them may have trained in that firm. Some of them may have gone to university in the UK. Some of them may have trained in the UK, but it's a nice little like, Oh, they're interested in me you want to massage their ego they're people too they've come through the process they want to see that you're interested in their business it's people at the end of the day come on you know how to deal with people you wouldn't be on this channel if you didn't watching me deal with people i don't know what i'm saying anymore thank you for watching um i love sharing all of my information because what good is it up here i'm qualified have a job let's share the knowledge let's bring in some really cool people into the profession let's stop acting as if it's so serious yeah okay it is serious but we're all human let's help each other let's subscribe to law hero tell your granny tell your mommy tell all your friends and uh follow me on instagram at law hero irl in real life and that's all I have to say. Thank you very much and um, best of luck if you're doing exams and in the milk rounds.